Manga Man here, coming at you with another video from the Otaku Vault. I promised in my last video that I would make an, uh, I'll be making another video on uh, the topic of witches or witch for Halloween, and I would have brought it to you on Saturday, but it turns out that camera batteries don't last forever. They're not infinite, you know. Basically, when I tried to start making this video yesterday, I found out that the camera battery was dead, so I had to charge it, but it took so long to charge that by the time it was done, I didn't have optimal lighting in my room. You see, the place where I'm at is new. I moved about a month ago, and this apartment does not have overhead lighting. So, I have to work with what I got. With a little bit of sunlight and maybe a lamp backlight. Okay. Which means I need to invest in lamps. I might get a giant spotlight. Yes, I can see it now. A giant light in the sky. You fire, you shine it up, and you see a giant manga in the sky for a manga man. But what do we have today uh, for this uh, video is my personal favorite uh, manga of mine, um, which is Ryu Mizanagi's Witchcraft works. Yes, witchcraft works. A very much a personal favorite of mine. First off, what, what originally drew me to the series was obviously the art is extremely wonderful, beautiful. And well, there's also one other reason. I wonder what it could be. I wonder. Yes. But in all seriousness, the artwork on these covers is high up on the list of things that I really enjoy about this manga. Also, manga that start out with color pages in the beginning get extra points. The series mainly follows Honoka, Takamiya, and Ayaka Kagari. Along with a large cast of very interesting and unique characters, including the trope of a highly obsessed sister. Witchcraft Works is a magical, supernatural high school comedy that, while at times can be serious, dramatic, and action-packed when it needs to be, it is also downright hilarious most of the time. Hanunka finds himself the center of attention of many girls in the school, especially Ayaka, who saves him after he was attacked. She uses fire. Lots of fire. Hanunka finds out that Ayaka is a workshop witch, in a sense a good witch, and the ones that attack and try to capture him are the Tower Witches, in a sense, the Bad Witches. I won't say anything more other than that Hanoka finds that he has some kind of special connection to Ayaka and the world of witches, which is the overarching plot of the manga. Witchcraft Works is a wonderfully entertaining manga with an amusing and sometimes touching story. It did get an anime adaption in 2014 that is pretty strictly faithful to the manga, which is always a plus with anime adaptions. It only covers the manga up to volume 6, though. I'd probably own the anime as well, but it never got a proper physical Western release. Though maybe that is a good thing, as I'd have that catchy end credits song stuck in my head all the time. And that was Witchcraft Works. 
Thanks for watching. I hope I've inspired you to go out and buy a copy today. Read and read the story because it is a good story. And so like, comment, and subscribe. And ring that bell for notifications. And I'll see you in the next video.